guys what is up it's me it's Sana and today we're back in the kitchen and you know what that means when we're back in the kitchen that means another cooking video or well not cooking baking technically I'm gonna be making some gluten-free cookies I really like these cookies because they're just, ugh, they're so good. They're great. I've made them once before and they were pretty good. So I just wanted to make them again. So here we are today making them again because I want to. So I've got the recipe here on my phone. I've got all the ingredients all right here. So, you know, since we've, let's see here. Since we've got everything, let's just go ahead and start. First thing we need to do is preheat the oven. So I'm preheating the oven to 350 degrees Fahrenheit, 170 degrees Celsius. I know that's technically not the same thing, but I'd like to round it up to a round number and I baked it at the same degree yes, uh, last time, so it should work, should be fine. Oh, right, I forgot that we have to do this with our hands, so I don't know why I got that. All right, so these are off. Okay, so it says that we need 65 grams gluten-free um, I'm gonna say oatmeal flour flour I do not have oatmeal flour I do however have normal gluten-free flour but as you can see I probably do not have enough so I'm gonna fill this up and then we also need to use almond flour so I'm just gonna fill what I'm missing with the almond flour no actually this is enough just gonna throw all of it in there because I mean I don't want to put the teeny tiniest bit back. Just add some more stuff and everything in there. So we need 50 grams of almond flour, and then we need 40 grams of butter or coconut oil. Um, I'm gonna use coconut oil because I don't want to take the I don't want to go through that hassle of getting butt out of the freezer and like I'm freezing it even though I've got to melt down the coconut butter it's, it's different okay it's different so okay so I need 40 grams I'm leaving today okay so that is done and then we need 35 grams of coconut sugar. Okay, so 35 grams. Last time I made this, I did this with my host kid, and um, like I let her put the coconut sugar in here, and she accidentally put in the entire bag. So I had to scoop like more than half of it out, which is very fun. Okay, and now it calls for. A little bit of salt. Okay, so let's throw this in there too. And then we need half an egg, so I'm gonna be cracking the egg in here. Okay, so the recipe says that you can use, because this is also like a vegan recipe, so it says that you can use either half an egg or you can use two tablespoons of applesauce. But I don't have applesauce, so I'm going to be using have an egg. I could have done this so much better, but it's too late. Um, Alright, and then we need one tablespoon of the spices. These are Dutch spices, so I don't know where you can get them here. But I got them, I got this little, this little nugget. I got it from Amazon, so I feel like if you just look for it, um, it's the Speculas spice blend. If you look for that, you can find it. But the ingredients are cinnamon, ginger, ground and ice seed, coriander, cardamom, nutmeg, allspice, mace, cloves, and white pepper. So I feel like if you're willing to take the risk of mixing all of those things together, you don't have to go through the trouble of buying it. But that's probably going to be more expensive, so I don't know what you'd rather do. Okay, and then it's, it says that you can use like half a teaspoon of seitan gum. I don't know what the hell that is, but I'm not gonna be using that because I, well, I don't have that. And then we need half a teaspoon of baking soda, 
and then one and a half teaspoons of baking powder. Um, but I'm gonna be throwing that in now because, well, you know, I'm gonna be mixing it with my hands and I don't wanna make my hands dirty, clean them, and then make them dirty again. So just gonna throw a little bit in now. Besides, I don't think it's gonna be that big of a deal anyways, so. All right, so now we need to go through the fun part of kneading this with our goddamn hands. If you have an electric mixer and you can use like a kneading set, uh, setting, do that because I recommend that. But I do not have that, so I gotta go do it with my bare hands. So bear with me, I'm not gonna enjoy this, but I don't have a choice. Also, the recipe that I have here um, is a recipe to make six cookies. So they're gonna be like big cookies. But if you want, you can obviously like, um, you know, make more. You just need to like calculate the differences. I'm not gonna do that because numbers in me, that's not, that's a no-go, that's not happening. Okay, so I needed everything together. Let's turn into this ball. It's literally a hard ball, so that's funny. Now, we need to get ugh, a baking tray. So put that right here. And we need to put four or six little balls on there. And then push them down into little cookies. So as you can see, I do not have six balls. I have nine, but it's still balls, so it's fine. So now we need to press them out so that they can, you know, make, become cookies. But as you can see, my dough is just crumbling apart, even if I touch it. So let's hope that if you guys do this, then it goes a lot better. So as you can see, I here have nine deformed cookies, and now I need to loosen this egg, and then we're gonna just wipe the egg over all the cookies. I can now throw some slivered almonds over these deformed cookies and bake them. Okay, so now we've done that. Oh, look at that. They're all sitting up. They all look like garbage. So now we're gonna go and throw them in the oven for 15 to 18 minutes and see how they turn out. Alexa, set a timer for 15 minutes. 15 minutes, starting now. All right, so that's baking. It's time to go clean up. Fake or baking. So it has been 15 minutes. The cookies are out the oven and they're over there. I'm going to be putting them on a plate because they are done and then you can see what they look like. Spoiler alert, trash. Yeah. 
apologies. Sorry, I had to do that. Anyways, um, yeah, the cookies are right here. They legit look like trash. I swear, I promise you guys, they did not look like this when I made them last time. It looked a lot better. So I don't really know what happened here today. But um, I assume they still taste good. Ow, I haven't tried one actually. They're very crumbly. Last time they definitely weren't this crumbly. It's like the cookies I used to, in my, used to eat at my grandparents' place before I couldn't anymore because they had gluten in them, so. They're good! So this is me attempting to bake these cookies and actually failing miserably. Um, I still hope you guys like watching it. If you did, let me know. Um, ooh, maybe you guys can give me some recipes that I can try, like some things that I can bake or cook. And yeah, I can try those. Because I like to do a little more baking and cooking, but I just don't know what to make. So you guys give me some recipes, give me some names, give me some dishes that I could make, and maybe I will. Anyways, I hope you guys like this video, and yeah, then you guys will see me in one of my next ones. Bye, guys! I can't reach that far. We've been dancing for so long under the stars. I feel that the grass will cut through my skin. All the pills we take have seemed to prolong.